Hello all my lost girlfriends, my name is Forge and welcome back to a brand new video where today I'm going to be showing you guys something very very awesome and it is a way of getting add-ons onto your Xbox One. Now originally we had those listed from our mobile devices or our Windows 10 but thanks to some applications we now have the ability of getting add-ons onto the console itself so that way we can just go ahead and enjoy it on all of our different worlds. We can invite our friends and we can just enjoy it all that we want. So as you guys can see I am the only one in this world and I have myself a tiger spawning. So this isn't the add-on I'm going to be showing you guys on how to install. But once you go ahead and see the add-on that I'm going to be installing. Then you will know on how to get all these different things. And the best part is. This method will work for texture packs. It will work for maps. And it even work for skin packs. Which I think is very very awesome. So let's say somebody has a skin pack that you really want to use. Within this version of Minecraft. Well originally you could only use it on your Windows 10. But now you're going to be able to use it on your Xbox One. Which is absolutely awesome. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into the tutorial itself. But first off if you guys enjoyed today's video. Then please let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe. For more videos by me in the future and let's get started. So you're going to want to go ahead and head over to Microsoft Edge. So you can go ahead and download your add-on. One website I recommend going to is going to be mcpedl.com. Because they have some really great add-ons that you can go ahead and download. So right here we have ourselves the Tyrannosaurus Rex add-on. And we're just going to go ahead and click on the download link and it should take us to Mediafire. Now if it doesn't take you to Mediafire, it may take you to bit.ly or it may take you over to Adfly. Now if it takes you to Adfly or any of the other websites, then just go ahead and wait till the countdown stops at the very top. And then go ahead and click skip add so that way you can go ahead and get right into the add-on itself. So once you go ahead and download it, click on save as and save it into your downloads folder. And just go ahead and click on save. And we are now ready to move on to the next application. So go ahead and head over to your file explorer and go ahead and find your add-on. And we're going to want to go ahead and rename this to .zip. And once you do that, go ahead and click on it and it should take you to another application. But it will prompt you to download the application first. And the best application I recommend getting for opening zip files is going to be 8-zip. Of course, 7-zip, 8-zip, you guys could probably get where the name came from. But we're just going to go ahead and extract both of these over to our other folder that we are going to be creating inside our documents. And it's going to be our add-on folder which it should take me directly there. So there we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on select. You guys can tell that I already downloaded a few add-ons right here. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on select. And this is going to go ahead and extract those. But one thing that you're going to want to do is head back over to your file explorer. And you're going to want to go ahead and rename both of those files to a .zip. And just like before, just go ahead and extract both of those over to that same folder. And then you should be all good. So now that they're both extracted, go ahead and open up the UFO transfer. Of course, this is a free program that you can get from the Xbox store. Same thing for the other one. Of course, for the other one, 8-zip, there is a paid version. But I use the free version because it works all the same. But go ahead and come over here. Of course, once you get into the application, it will have the pictures icons right here. But you're going to want to go ahead and click on the gear icon and open in File Explorer. Once you do that, you'll be inside this package. But you're going to want to go ahead and click on pack. So once you go ahead and do that, click on packages. And then go ahead and find Minecraft console. Of course, sometimes it will be quite difficult to find depending on where you are. But there we go. We have ourselves Minecraft console. And then we're going to go ahead and click on local state. We have ourselves games. Calm that mojang. And then we have ourselves all these different folders. Now by default, you will not have the behavior underscore packs or the resource underscore packs. You're going to have to go ahead and create those folders yourself. So that way the game can go ahead and read those. But once you go ahead and do that, click on this button right here. And it's going to go ahead and take you here. Then go ahead and find those two files that you just extracted. So this is our resource pack. So we're just going to go ahead and copy that. And we're going to go ahead and paste it directly into that area. And to go back, we just have to go ahead and press the B button. And then that way we're going to go ahead and be back within the screen. So then add over to resource packs. And we're just going to go ahead and click on the paste icon. And now we're going to want to do the same thing to our behavior pack. So once you go ahead and copy and paste them into their appropriate folders, go ahead and load up Minecraft and find the world that you want to go ahead and load the resource pack and behavior pack in. So as you can see, we have ourselves our Tyrannosaurus Rex by Pixel Ads. Then we also have our behavior packs for the Tyrannosaurus Rex as well. So then we're just going to go ahead and simply click on play game. And we're going to see if the Tyrannosaurus Rexes are going to be in, in our game. And behold, we have our Tyrannosaurus Rex spawn egg. And we're going to go ahead and spawn this guy in. Now, when I first saw this add-on, I actually really, really like the fact that this has a Tyrannosaurus Rex that fully works. So I'm just going to go ahead and spawn this guy all the way over here, not by the tigers. So there we go. 
And here we go with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look how cool he is. I mean, doesn't he look pretty awesome? And you know what the best part is? If you get ourselves a small one, we can go ahead and tame them. And these guys can also roar, as you guys just heard right there. Yeah, that's a very loud roar. And they will actually just attack you naturally if you do find them in the big form. But besides that, guys, that's how you get add-ons into your Xbox One console. I mean, it's that simple, that easy, and that awesome. And as I mentioned, it does work for maps, it will work for texture packs, and it will work for skin packs. So that way you can have the maximum fun onto the Xbox One. Now, if you guys thought this tutorial was helpful and informative, then please let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe for more videos by me in the future. And for now, I hope that you have a logical day, and I will catch you next time. Bye!